Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Hey guys, Dylan Stone, Superlative Radio with another vlog here. And uh, I, I want to talk today about friends. And uh, Saw did one during the summer where he talked about friends and he talked about... And it actually, when he did it, I thought to myself, I want to touch on that myself but I had been looking for something that I wanted to use as an example when I was talking about it and I couldn't find it and I was sitting there just a few minutes ago watching Saw do his vlogs and it was sitting in front of my face the whole time it was on the table and this is the thing that I was going to talk about because this this little blotter represents friendship for me for a lot of years, which is why I still have it. When I was living with my mother, after my father left when I was 15, I had a desk in my bedroom. It was a pretty big desk, and I used to do a lot of my stuff on it and whatever, my, a lot of my homework and a lot of when I did my homework, but a lot of other stuff. I had this blotter, this blotter on my desk, and every one of my friends who came in had to sign it or put a little, you know, something lofty and poetic or, or do something, just whatever they wanted to do, whatever they wanted to say, they put it, they signed the blotter. Not every time they came in, just, you know, different people that would come in. And I was looking at it while Saw was doing his vlogs, and the earliest one I can find is from 1977. I think it's December of 1977. And I can remember having this on my desk probably around 76, somewhere in that area. And I'm sure if I look, I'd find, you know, a couple from 76. But uh, the earliest one that I could find just looking is 77, and I know there's a few from 78 and a few, you know, so a lot of these people that came in, you know, just put a little signature on the, on this thing that was on my desk. And it's a lot of history of a lot of the friends I had growing up. My cousins and some of my friends and some of the people, their girlfriends and all kinds of different people have come in and signed on there. And it's just one of those things I'd like you to tell me down below who's the oldest friend that you have when did you meet them how long have you known them how, how many years have you known like who's the person that you've known the longest with me it's a, it's a friend of mine named Jürgen Jürgen Hoffman and I've known him I guess basically we were introduced when we were about three if I remember correctly our parents sort of knew we, we you know so basically that would mean I've known him for 50 eight years that's scary man you know but you know when you look at this here you know Ken Paisano and Frank Baker and Roger Castongay and Lynn Coolyard uh, just so many people Gordy Armstrong who's now passed uh, Lori Briard there's so many, Jesus, look at that. Tarina Fitzgerald, 19th, February, 1978. Just so many people that I've known for so long. Unbelievable, look, Frank, Kathy and Frank, 1978. Remember that, Frank, when you were going out with Kathy? Jesus. Anyway, um, Laura, Kenny and, La Kenny Payson and Laura Lee Little, you know? Wow. There's so many different people and so many different days. It's just, it's historic, you know, in my, it's a part of my past. It just, it makes me laugh because we all have a past. Some of us, it's good, some of us, bad. And this is another part of my past. My father bought this for me when I was uh, 13 or 14. And I've had it ever since. And it just amazes me when I look at it, the history that's behind it. When I first started playing in groups at 14, 
I was using this. The very first time I ever played on stage in front of anybody, I used this guitar. It's been through, <laughs> boy oh boy, has it, if it could talk, could it tell stories? It's been through groups that I was in, it's been through girlfriends, it's been through good, bad, in between everything. When we played up in Chisasabi with Togo and Jerry and Ricky Deer, and it was there for that. I could tell you some of the, you know those guys. Yep. It was just one of those, it's been through all kinds of things. I can remember playing in Weldon. Lynn Coulier, I don't remember this because she was going out with Roger at the time, who was the drummer of the group. And I was going out with this girl named Nancy. And I remember sitting on the bed playing this guitar. And it was just, you know, there's so many things that this has gone through with me. It's, it's part of my history. And it's, it, it's just really, really funny how an inanimate object can bring memories back to you. The, the board there that everybody signed, the guitar, there's things that I still have that bring back so many wonderful memories and so many things in some cases that I'd really rather forget, but you know, it's still part of who I am and part of things that made me who I am. Do you guys have anything like that? Do you still have things from when you were really young that you've kept all these years that bring back memories, that bring back friends that are no longer with you for whatever reasons. Maybe you've moved apart, maybe they've passed away. Uh, could be a million different reasons, you know? You gotta remember that friendship is something that's important. We all need friends who can be straight with us, who can be supportive, who can be there when you need them to be. It's, it's important to have the right friends. Because there are friends who will say they're friends, but they're not. There's friends, you know, you learn things as you go. And like these two guys that I'm with now, I mean, I'd go to the wall for them, they both know that. And it's, it's just one of those things where pick the right friends, because it helps you in your life. Try not to pick the wrong friends who will hurt you more than help you. That's basically the bottom line. Remember your history. Remember your older friends that you've known that have been there. Don't lose touch with old friends. Make new ones. Just remember that. It's something that's very important. I'm sure both of these guys will tell you that too. The right friends make the difference. Don't forget that it's important. That's my vlog for today. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime. And when you do, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment. We really wanna know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, because that's the way it's supposed to be.